tonight is the night. Are you ready? I've been waiting for you. Oh my god, Simon, what are you doing in the dark? It's called mood lighting, Sean. Haven't you ever heard of it? Why couldn't we just meet in the office? We work together. Because the office is so boring. Maybe walk through this abandoned, creepy warehouse for nothing. Y yeah, okay, I'll give you that. It is a little dirty. I mean, like, I had to walk through, like, five cobwebs just to get here. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me? The future. All right, guys, let's take a look at what Simon dragged me all the way through this abandoned, creepy warehouse for. Now, here at Apollo, we're always striving to innovate and push the boundaries of e-mobility. So today, we have two prototype batteries for our upcoming Phantom Ludo, and one that charges in just 20 minutes. So this is our current battery, and by no means a slouch. Over 1,200 watt hours, 52 volts, and 23.4 amp hours, packs a pretty good punch and decent range to boot. But as a CTLL would say, there's always room for improvement. And that's why we recently got our hands on some pretty interesting tech. Now already attached to the Phantom here is battery A. While it may look like just a regular battery, it's got some pretty cool features, especially when tied into our Ludo controller. It's a 62 volt cell that shows some big potential. All right, let me explain. Our 52 volt batteries are excellent at discharging gradually while still providing adequate power, but they shut off from the around 42 volts to protect the battery. The 62 volt monster can discharge all the way down to 25 volts before shutting off. 25! Of course, there is a caveat. 
This amazing battery only has a capacity of 7 amp hours. It's not bad, but compared to the Phantom's current power source of 23.4 amp hours, well, to put it simply, this battery can go super fast for a very short amount of time. Another downside is that the battery isn't quite plug and play. And because we don't have a controller designed explicitly for it yet, installing it now removes the connectivity to the Phantom's hex display, which means installing a custom throttle. It's not all downsides though. This battery can charge in just 20 minutes. That fact alone is insane, but in the words of the late great Billy Mays, wait, there's more. This 62 volt battery can last over 4,000 charge cycles, which is eight times more than the current battery found in the Phantom. We're not done yet though. Our resident mad scientist Al Wah has been working on another prototype as well. This battery, which we'll call battery B, charges at the same pace as our current batteries and has a maximum capacity of 30 amp hours and 52 volts. That means the Phantom will have an even greater range with a more consistent flow of power. This new battery can also last over 1,000 charge cycles and has a whopping 21,700 cells, which, according to El Wa, technical terms, is the freaking bomb. But, and there's always a but, this new battery is more expensive and takes longer to charge, roughly 15 hours for a full charge compared to the 12 hours for our regular batteries. Now ideally, we would show you the ins and outs of both these batteries, perform a range test, top speed, acceleration, etc, etc, but why tease you guys when we're working on something better? Awan and his team are working on combining the longevity and fast charging of battery A with the crazy output of battery B, and trust me, they've been working on it a long time. But creating the perfect battery can't be rushed, especially when it's the most integral part of an electric scooter. With these powers combined, we hope to bring in the most complete scooter battery on the market. It's gonna take time though, so stay tuned as we continue to improve and innovate. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this little sneak peek behind the scenes here at Apollo. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe, and ride safe.